Hey, okay, so, uh, for getting these materials straight, I know Nathaniel had mentioned putting, um, when we have the layered material all set up from, from his document, we've got this input for layer mask here, he mentioned putting the different masks into different channels, but I can't figure out how to get that to work properly. Um, I mean, I understand, like, that I need to put them there, but as far as, like, putting them there, uh, I have no idea how to do it, so I went about it a different way. Um, right now I just have, so I've got, I've got my brick material set up, but I don't have my layer mask set up right now, so I'm just going to apply this brick material. It's all jacked right now. Um, so, that is... Uh, part part way there, but obviously I, I want a layered material. Okay, so how I would go about this next is I would open up Photoshop, right? I've got a, a document here that's 2048 by 2048, and then I've got um, I've got my exported masks from uh, from Substance Painter. So I've got my mask one, mask two, and mask three over here. I'm just going to pull those in. Okay. I'm going to make sure that they're all set up in an order correctly. Put them into my folder here just to keep track of everyone. And then we'll rasterize them. Oh, that one's really shitty looking, but whatever. Okay. So instead of going in and fucking with the channels we'll just do it through here through the blending options all right so we'll just turn off green and blue for this first one the second one we turn off red and blue and the third one we just turn off red and green okay so that should be all of them this is what our mask is going to look like now and then we should just be able to export this. So file, quick export as PNG, whatever. I've got a folder here for them called my edited layer masks. This is going to be my brick material mask. Okay. Now you can import this under I made a new folder here for it called uh, my Photoshop mask section just to keep stuff separate just so I'm not overwriting anything we'll uh, import new asset this brick mask now it looks all jacked again but that's cool okay so we got our, our brick layered material and we just pull this into the layer mask. Ta-da!